I got a question. If we keep God's commandments, what's going to happen? What's the, what's the reward? What's the reward for keeping God's commandments? If we choose to say, yo, I'm going to stop smoking weed. I'm going to start um, getting a job. I'm going to start being a man according to the, the Bible. What's the reward? What's, how is God going to bless us? Revelation 2. Because there's a reward. We're doing this for a reason. We love the Most High God, and the Most High God says He's going to bless us if we keep His commandments. Be what you got. Revelation 2 or 26. So, so my brother, what's your name? Jamal. Jamal. Jamal, if he choose to repent and choose to be like, yo, I'm going to stand for God, guess what? God's going to give you something. Let's find out what he's going to give you. Come on. The book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 26. Uh -huh. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works. So if you overcome, if you overcome your sins, understand, some, for some people, it's hard to stop smoking weed. Mm -hmm. For some people, it's hard to stop going to woman to woman. A lot of us, but we, we have to um, put that away because we love God. We love God and say, wait a minute, we're going to keep his commandments? So read that again. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, and verse 26. Oh. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works, we keep his commandments, come on, until the end. To him will I give power over the nations. To him you have power over the nations. Power. Power over the nations. What does that mean, Jamal? Power. I don't want to say control, but yeah, yo, say control, cause we, we, you won't hear the script, you won't hear the scripture in the Christian church. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it plain for you. Um, we Revelation 13 and 10 to explain that power, cause God says if you keep His commandments, we're gonna have power over the nations. Who's the nation? The Edomites, the so-called white man, the Moabites, the so-called Chinese man. We're gonna have power over them. That's right. The name, the role you said, we're gonna have control over them. Right. If we keep his commandments, because right now we at the bottom. Right now, right now, yeah. people, look at pe black people. They walk, they they shake their head. We, we we are shameful people right now. But if we choose to repent, if we choose to put away our sin, guess what? God's gonna bless us, Jamal. Come on. Book of Revelation, chapter thirteen, and verse ten. Verse nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. So he said, If any man have an ear, let him hear. This is some good knowledge going going to be over right now. Come on. He that leadeth into captivity. So he that leadeth into captivity. What's captivity, Jamal? What's ca captivity means is a number of a slavery. So he, he that causes slavery, we were slaves once, Jamal. Believe it or not. In Jamaica, in Haiti, in St. Lucia, we were slaves. So he that leadeth into, sla oh, lead into captivity, he that causes slavery, so do what? Shall go into captivity. So, oh, the British, the Spanish, the French, let me make it more plain. The white man is going to go into slavery. Really? Come on. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. That's justice, Jamal. And guess what? Who's going to be the slave masters? Us. If we keep his commandments. You're not going to get power if you don't keep his commandments. And guess what? That's justice. Someone, someone might know, oh, that's racist. Or oh, I don't like that, but that's what the Bible says. That's justice, because guess what? Your ancestors never got justice. Um, the white man never paid for raping our women, right. raping our wives, right. taking us as, um, doing, torturing us. The white man never paid for that. But guess what? When Christ comes back, if we keep his commandments, the Most High God is going to judge them. He's going to reward us for keeping his commandments. Give me Isaiah 14 verse 1. What's the reward for keeping God's commandments? I'm not going to keep you too long, Jamal, but it's some information that you must know. You need to know this. Okay, I'm going to give you two more scriptures, all right? Isaiah 14 and 1. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 1. Uh. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. So God's going to have mercy on us, even though we had the slums, even though we love killing each other. Our, our music love degrading each other. We, do, we, we degrade our sisters. We brag about sleeping with another man's wife. Even though with those people, if we choose to repent, God's going to have mercy on us. Come on. I will yet choose Israel. You're going to choose Israel. Who's Israel, Jamal? Us, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. I'm almost done. Come on. Hold on. All right, read, that. read what you got. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. I will yet choose Israel. And because if you don't repent, guess what? What's going to happen if you don't repent? If you continue in this sin? Christ is going to kill you. 
When Christ comes back, he's gonna sit. He's against you because you was against him by not keeping his, his commandments. I'm saying it's not a light thing. It's not oh, we all die. No, it's gonna be a terrible death. He, this this judgment even after death. Understand that? Come on. And set them in their own land, huh? and the stranger shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave. To the house of Jacob. So they're going to be cleave unto the house of Jacob. The strangers and so the other nations, right? The white man, the East Indian man, the Chinese man, the people that look down upon us, we're going to look down upon them in this day. Come on. And the people shall take them and bring them to the place and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land. We shall possess them. Possess them. That's what the Bible says. Right. Come on. In the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. Servants and handmaids. And now what for servants and handmaids? Slaves. They're going to be our slaves, Jamal. If you keep God's commandments, they're going to be our slaves. Right. And we're going to tell them to keep God's commandments. We're going, we're going to re-establish order in this earth. Because right now the earth is out of order. Right. Man, man, the LGBT got um, freaking man changing to dogs. All these craziness going on. But we choose to keep God's commandments, we're going to set the world in order under Christ. Come on. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. So that's another scripture. So we're not taking thing, anything out of context. If you keep God's commandments, if you keep God's laws, the laws, statutes, and judgments, you're going to have rulership, Jamal. Right. That, that's the reward for keeping God's commandments, all right? You must know this, Jamal. I'm going to let you go, but keep it, keep it in mind. Hold on. This more. Come on. And they shall rule over their oppressors. We're going to rule over our oppressors. Yo, yo so-called Donald Trump, Justin Trudeau, all these, all these Edomites in high places, guess what? Jamal, you'll be ruling over them if you choose to repent from your sin and keep God's commandments. Because sin, you just ruin your own life. You're you, you going to benefit a lot from being sober, Jamal. You're going to benefit a lot from honoring marriage. You're going to help your community a lot by keeping God's laws. But if you remain in sin, you're just damaging yourself and damaging your community. So what we asking for you, you, what God asking, one more scripture. I'm going to give you one more scripture that you could go. Psalms 94 and 16. Psalms 94 and 16. God is commanding you to stand up. Stand up, because God wants his man to stand up. Because right now in the black community, guess what? We have too many weak men. Right. Our, our man are, is too weak. The black man is not supposed to be weak. The black man, the black man is supposed to be the standard. The so-called black man is supposed to be the standard for all the other nations. Come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me? So God's asking you a question, Jamal. Who, who's going to rise up for God? Because a, a lot of people will rise up for a block. Galloway or Malva, but God's asking who's going to rise up for, for him? Come on. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Against the evildoers. So, Jamal, you got a big responsibility on your hands. You got to repent and keep God's commandments, and God's going to bless you if you endure. But if you remain in sin, if you remain in a, in a negative state, God's going to judge you. You're not, you're not for God. You're against God. All right, my man? I'm going to let you go. All right, be... Be safe, I'll be easy, all right? Speak very, very well. But that's the wisdom of man. That's the wisdom of this world. All in your life. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. By example, nation is family. 